A warm welcome back to the channel everybody. Today it's a special one. This is the Scalextric Renault Lotus 97T as driven by arguably the greatest to ever do it, Ayrton Senna. What a beauty. This car is gorgeous. Normally, I'm more of a fan of the modern day uh, Formula One cars, but when I saw this baby, and if my memory serves me correctly, this standalone model that you get in this case, it has a bit more detail than the one you get in the set. So, you know you can get this, and this as a set with the track and everything, which is pretty cool if you were to ask me. However, as a collector, I've already got a track, so I don't need to buy the two and a whole set again. However, buying this separately, I think, is better for a collector. The reason why I say that, look at the wheels on this bad boy. Can you see the detail that you're getting on this particular model when it comes to the wheels? Now, one of the first things that stood out for me on this particular model, and indeed the real version, is that beautiful deep rich black coat of paint that it's got, and then the lettering, the livery on here, it's a sort of gold, but it's more of a subtle matte, sort of brownish gold. I don't know how to explain it, but it just looks so good on this scale electric version. So as you can see there, it's got John Player Special. We all know what John Player Special is, okay? In fact, even on the case of this, it's got a little sticker warning about smoking and everything, something I never did. But anyway, yeah, back in the day, that's what you used to get. A lot of uh, different tobacco companies as a sponsorship on race cars. Of course, you've got Olympus right there. You've got some lighting which is obscuring that. Hold on. Ah, there you go. A bit better, a little bit darker, but at least you can appreciate the beauty of this model. So yeah, down the bottom there, Olympus cameras. A uh, huge brand, especially back in the day when it comes to cameras. These days it's all about Nikon and uh, Canon. But anyway, you got Goodyear on the rear wing. Number 12, of course, right there. And absolutely loving how they have continued the livery here. And of course, you have the legend himself, Ayrton Senna. Just know that this man was one of the greatest, if not the greatest, to have ever driven a Formula One car. And remember back in the day, the sort of technology that you've got in Formula One cars now did not exist back then. Loving the intricacy of the suspension system, they're very nice. And what with this being a Formula One car, I would expect this lovely nice fat tires at the front and as I would come to expect, even fatter ones at the rear. I love it. And of course you can appreciate that even more at this angle. And just looking at this thing, it is a history lesson within itself. Because when you look at modern Formula One cars, and of course, very topical at the moment, what with all the Formula One races that are going on right now, we've just had there, where was it, Canada? Yeah, uh, Spain's up next, I think. But anyway, 
it's interesting to see how they've developed Formula One cars. I mean, look at that section here. If you think about what's on a Formula One car now, huge difference. Loving that you can see Ayrton Senna's arms, his hands, the gloves, the steering wheel, very nice. Let's have a look at the rear, loving that epic rear wing once again. Got all your livery there. I don't want to keep mentioning it, but anyway, you know what it is, JPS. <laughs> and then you've got your rear diffuser. You can see the silvery chrome section of the wheel there, look. Very nice detail. And again, just thinking about modern F1 cars, you can see how with these older ones, the driver to me just seems to be a bit more exposed in terms of safety. Yes, you've got that mechanism right there behind the helmet, but these days, as you know, there's a lot more on modern Formula One cars, including the Halo, but it just shows you the sort of skill <laughs> and bravery of these drivers back then. I mean, you've got to be brave to do it now, but especially back then. Awesome. What a legend, Ayrton Senna. Okay, so looking underneath, just before we take it on the track, you've got your huge magnet right there. You've got an inline motor, and I keep saying this, whenever it's a rally car, race car, Formula One car, more often than not, Scalextric are gonna slap in an inline motor system because they do perform better than the Sidewinders. So you do have your guide blade and your braids, but as you can see there, nowhere to put a digital chip. Now, I'm sure there's certain people out there that could mod it, but I wouldn't, okay? This car, as it is, even though it's not claiming to be, to me, it's like a special edition. Not something you wanna play around with. It's something as a collector is awesome. Let me just get it on the track run it around a couple of times or so and then it's going right back in the case up on display with the rest of my formula one car collection and i'm not just talking scale electric i have plenty of other formula one cars models um and this is going to join them definitely <laughs> 